Welcome to Comedy Global. The right to terminate the marriage at the instance of a Muslim wife is an absolute right conferred on her by the Holy Quran and is not subject to the acceptance or the will of her husband. This is what Kayla High Court said. It said on Tuesday that Muslim women do not require the husband's consent to file for divorce under Islamic law. The High Court has declared that the wishes of the wife cannot be connected to the will of the husband who may not be agreeing to the divorce despite the fact that Islamic law recognizes a Muslim woman's right to demand the dissolution of marriage. A review petition was being dismissed by the division bench of Justices A. Muhammad Mustaq and C. S. Diaz in response to a judgment in which the court had acknowledged a Muslim woman's right to use khula. This is a typical review portraying that Muslim women are subordinate to the will of their male counterparts. This review does not look innocuous at the instance of the appellant, but rather appears to have been fashioned and supported by clergies and the hegemonic masculinity of the Muslim community who are unable to digest the declaration of the right of Muslim women to resort to the extrajudicial divorce of Khullah unilaterally, the court said in its 59-page judgment. The review petition was filed in response to an appeal filed against a divorce judgment issued to a Muslim wife under the Dissolution of Muslim Marriages Act 1939. The court had ruled in the appeal that a Muslim wife's right to dissolve the marriage at her request is an individual right granted to her by the Holy Quran and is not contingent on her husband's consent or will. The court had said a khula would be valid if certain conditions are met. They are a declaration of repudiation or termination of marriage by the wife, an offer to return dowry or any material gain received by her during marital tie, an effective attempt for reconciliation was preceded before the declaration of Kula. In the review petition, it was stated that a Muslim wife who wants to divorce her husband must first demand talaq from him and then move the qazi or court if he refuses. A Muslim woman may demand a divorce of her own free will, the petitioner conceded, but he also maintained that she has no absolute right to pronounce khula. It was argued that nowhere in the world is a Muslim wife permitted to end the marriage on her own. According to the court's ruling last week, chapter 2, verse 229 of the Quran, which deals with the khula, clearly states that a Muslim wife has the right to dissolve her marriage. Observing that Sunnah cannot override or abrogate the primary legislation in Islamic law, the court further said, if the Quran in unequivocal terms permits spouses to terminate their marriage on their own will, it cannot be said that the Sunnah further qualifies it, subjecting it to the will of the husband in the case of Kula. As there was no justification for reviewing the verdict, the court dismissed the petition. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global. Also send in your feedback or news to comedyglobal at gmail.com.